hey, Evangelist Rob here. I want to discern and tell you this season prophetically that we're entering into in the world at large, not just for the body of Christ. For some, it's going to be a great awakening. For others, it's going to be a rude awakening. It's going to be the greatest of days for the church of Jesus. And if you don't know the Lord, the Bible does talk about the great and terrible day of the Lord, the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Now, it's only great if you're on the Lord's side. It's not so good if you're not. This is not an hour you want to be lukewarm or backslidden or on the bench. You want to get on fire for Jesus by the grace of God. In about four, three, four minutes, I want to pray the fire of God to impart right through this screen to break off shackles and burdens and chains so you can go forward, be propelled, and do great and be on fire for the Lord now. Before I continue, it would be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button in the comment section. If you have any specific prayer requests, go for it. You don't have to be specific. You could just put pray for me or amen. I am live 9 p.m. every Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern New York on YouTube. Go to my channel live 9 p.m. Robwood1. And uh, friends, the line of the vision has started now we don't want the vision in the body of christ but the lord has divided a sword ezekiel 33 says when i strike the land with the sword the sword separates the double-edged sword the separation has not begun it's here the wheat from the tares the sheep the goat angels demons light darkness heaven and hell there's no more middle ground either you got jesus in your forum or you're not doesn't mean you can't come to the Lord or can't get on fire for the Lord. It's just that either you're a Christian or you're not. You know what I'm saying? That's how the Lord makes it evident. He allows the wheat and the tare to grow together. So at the harvest, you can see the difference because the wheat begins to bow down in the natural. The head of the wheat gets heavy and begins to bow down. The harvest is bowing down all over the earth now. I'm imploring you, I do see days of tribulation, calamities, perplexities, the beginning of birth pangs, the acceleration of Matthew 24 coming on the earth. Jesus was not joking or kidding when he spoke about Matthew 24. He wasn't playing a game. He was saying, this is what's going to happen. Men's hearts will foul them from what's coming on the earth. They're going to look and see, my God, an expectation of things coming that are not good and tri tri you know, times of trivial and trials and their hearts in the natural and in the spiritual. They're going to lose hope in faith. And they're all, I believe maybe some people will pass on because the stress of that. Now, you've got to make sure your life is in Christ. You've got to make sure you're prepared spiritually. You've got to make sure you have enough oil in your lamp. So, what you know, the bridegroom, you're not you're ready. Your lamps are trimmed and burning. Get the oil now. Spend time in the presence of the Lord. Shut out everything. These nonsensical social networks that waste your time. And you get involved in argument. You know, people get involved in these tit-for-tat arguments and debates. Man, just go for Jesus. It's an hour to get radical. Father, I'm asking for strength right through this screen right now. In part, the fire of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 3.11 says, One who's coming after me is mightier than I. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. I'm praying for a fresh baptism of dunamis, dynamite, the power of God, the presence of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, to arrest and blast and plaster people. With the love of God, the presence of the Lord to permeate. Catch this. Come on, raise your hands. Fire right now. The glory of God, the anointing. Diverse tongues of fire coming upon people. Getting baptized with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hey, praise the Lord if you made it this far. It'd be an honor once again if you'd subscribe. Any videos I've done over the past over six minutes, you could check out. I'm burning tons of shows on YouTube. Again, 9 p.m. Eastern, live Monday nights on YouTube. The Lord bless you. Amen.